Another day, another story. Orwell and Wilbur Wright were American aviation pioneers who are credited with inventing and building the world's first successful airplane. They were born in Dayton, Ohio, Orwell on August 19, 1871, and Wilbur on April 16, 1867. The brothers grew up in a family that encouraged intellectual curiosity and experimentation. Their father, Milton Wright, was a bishop in the Church of the United Brethren in Christ, and their mother, Susan Catherine Cohener, was from a German family known for its intellectual pursuits. Orwell and Wilbur began to develop an interest in aviation in the late 1890s. They were inspired by the work of German glider pioneer Otto Lilienthal, who had died in a glider crash in 1896. The Wrights began experimenting with gliders in 1900, conducting a series of test flights at the Kill Devil Hills in North Carolina. In 1903, the Wright brothers achieved their greatest milestone when they successfully flew the world's first powered aircraft. Their airplane, called the Wright Flyer, made four flights on December 17, 1903, at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, with Orwell piloting the first flight lasting 12 seconds and covering 120 feet. The Wright brothers continued to refine their design over the next few years, developing more powerful engines, better wings, and other improvements. They also began to demonstrate their airplane to the public, performing flights in France, Germany, and the United States. In addition to their aviation work, the Wright brothers were also involved in a number of other inventions and innovations, including a printing press and a bicycle repair shop. They were awarded a number of patents for their work, including ones for the airplane and the wind tunnel. Orwell and Wilbur Wright are remembered as two of the most important figures in aviation history, and their achievements continue to inspire people around the world. They demonstrated the power of perseverance, determination, and innovation, showing that anything is possible with hard work and creativity. Thanks for watching.